Okay, so I've made a number of changes over the last few weeks up to the last eight months. As you may or may not remember, um, there was an incident in my studio, uh, a really ridiculous, over-the-top, dramatic, look-at-me incident, and the person that caused it and so much damage physically, mentally, and emotionally in the house was out the door by April. But since that happened at Christmas time, uh, I just decided to um, ditch the way we were eating together, we were sharing meals. Um, I was no longer interested in unhealthy eating. I was also no longer interested in having a relationship on any level with someone that was that narcissistic and that but, um, controlling. So that's over with. The bad eating habits are over with. I no longer have close relationships with anyone who, um, who really just, you know, I gotta control you and every other person, especially women, because women are dumb or something. I don't even understand why anyone would behave that way, but, or treat people that way. But anyway, regardless, that's over with. Um, I will tolerate you as long as I have to if you're in that mode or have that personality, but we're not gonna be close. So I really just made a decision to end it. Um, I was, I've been talked to at work uh, by different managers uh, because I didn't smile. This is another change, because I didn't smile at my nine to five job. I didn't smile, period. My heart was broken 14, 15 years ago and then my mother was killed, and then it was just a shit storm of stuff for the last uh, 14, 15 years working for horrible people, horrible bosses, and I just stopped smiling. It, it became painful. I would look at the camera and try and grin, but it hurt, it hurt my heart. Uh, but I decided to make a real effort to smile, like this. Can't smile with my teeth because half of them got knocked out of my mouth when I was doing martial arts. And then the RSD, CRPS, um, has, is taking bone density away. So what, what wasn't punched out is now crumbling. So that was a second change. First of all, going back to eating the way I like to eat. Second of all, I have been actively remembering to smile and work on it. When somebody says something nasty or horrible to me or something that's threatening or demeaning, I just, and walk away. And both of those things have helped me to feel better, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally too. But then we have a third change too. I think it was, what, what a week ago I made a video where I said, I am committed to painting twice a day, in the morning before I go to work, and then again when I get home at night before I go to bed. And I, didn't, I don't care if it's two brush strokes. I don't care if it's 30 seconds, five minutes, or 30 minutes. But those simple changes have really helped me to feel lighter and more purposeful. Um, not only is it very nice to be wearing not enormous pants, I'm down to like a 32, it fits me, but I get 34s because I like little bit of bag in my pants, a um, little bit of bagginess. Oh shit, I forgot what I was saying. Those, anyway, those simple changes have helped me to just feel more like me. They feel more like me. They're my choices. They're my decisions to actively work at eating well. Getting rest, too. Sleeping. Uh, actively doing things that, that make me a little happier, which also includes um, painting. So twice a day, I actually feel more purposeful. And I share this with people because maybe you're feeling in a rut, like I have been for, like I had been for eight months, almost nine months, totally stuck. Just coming out here and painting was just another chore. Working on my book has, also fallen into that category, Stories from Scooter Town, the book I've been working on forever, 14 years, 13, 14 years. It, it's just another chore. 
Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been working that because I've been waiting till I felt rested enough. I've eaten properly, I've rested enough to come out here and work, to paint. And the funny thing is, last night, yesterday, I pulled out, or a while ago, I pulled out this particular painting, which has always bothered me. It, it was never finished, and I couldn't figure out where to go. But the past couple mornings, every morning, I would come out and make a couple of brush strokes. And last night, I came out binge-watching Walking Dead, and I went, you are going to paint. You are going to paint. You are sticking to the plan. You are keeping your word. Because that's something I pride myself on, is keeping my word. So I've been keeping my word. And hopefully this helps other people to build their own plans and, and really stick to them too. But last night I came out, I took well, Walking Dead out with me on my other little iPad, sat here and watched the end of season eight, now I'm on season nine, and I painted. And I'm super happy how this has come out. Super, super happy. I think it was last week I put in the oil pastel lines up and down, not really sure where I was going with it, but had an idea because of other paintings I've done this to, added lines, added more texture, added a different medium so that light is accepted or rejected um, by that medium. So I've added lights and darks, I added um, stripes in, in oil pastel to her, to the entire painting, to the entire project, but last night I came out and I'm like, I'm doing this. This is what I've done. I've added teals to the background in between the oil painting lines. I've added greens and more yellows and, and, uh, and uh, a white to her bonnet, to her fur-covered bonnet, to her sleeves. I extended them a bit. I reshaped her feet, added teal to her feet. Um, kind of defined the shoes, but not really. But anyway, I've added more yellows, tried to make it more balanced, and I'm super happy with it. I'm, I actually really, really like it now. The photo came from my friend Heather Adele. I've talked about Heather Adele many times. Um, she was an artist in Providence, Rhode Island, uh, a very, very good friend of mine who sadly passed um, unexpectedly. And I've been hanging on to this and feeling guilty for a long time, but because of the new habits, I've tackled it. I wish I could show Heather. I wish I could show Heather. This is Heather's mom uh, sitting on a stoop with a, with a lollipop. And there's a backstory to this, too, uh, that's, that's pretty interesting. It's a little sad and tragic, but it's also very interesting. Anyway, I wanted to show you. This is, this is what commitment can, can get you. But you get to, I've had to, sorry. I had to dig my way out of sadness and depression and the anxiety of coming home to a house that is, number one, way more than I could afford and am stuck with. Number two, has a taint to it I can't scrub out of the rugs. Um, and just whatever. Anyway, it's number three something or other, I don't really care. The commitment to eating better, the commitment to um, weight loss, the commitment to painting, the commitment to smiling, it's changing. It's changing me. And I'm more productive because of it. I hope you find something useful in that I wanted to share because eight months ago, if I had seen somebody, if anyone had talked to me like this, I would have been like, whatever, dude. It's not happening with me. I'm really unhappy. Eight months of healing, eight months of taking care of myself, eight months of painting, whether I felt like it or not, most days. But now it's time to get back on track, to get to make a commitment to get back on track. And I'm there. Um, it's just been, I think, a week, and we're there. So I look forward to painting more uh, later today. I think I'm going to put... Um, Christy and Bobby's side, I'm not sure. I may get excited and work on them anyway, but I'm going to pull out my African-American field worker and see if I can make some progress on her because she's sitting right over there staring at me and she's annoying me. She's not right. Oh, I wanted to share something else. 
I started using um, this old TV console that I own, because I don't own a TV. I moved it out here to the garage so I could work. And I cleaned it off, as you can see, sort of, and set up so I can paint over here. It's just another new perspective. It's just changing the perspective, how I see, how I treat myself and my work. Just another feature in this trajectory. Anyway, I'm going to go take a shower now because I'm smelly and I'm sweaty and I want to get to work later. All right, hopefully I'll do another studio mate in another state and we'll just paint side by side. All right, ciao. Or well, if you have any questions about this or any other painting, please PM me and I'll send you to the right people. Okay, ciao.